TGIF, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. We're bringing it to you live. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Golden State Warriors. Welcome, everyone. Courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Allie LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. Shorter rotation player. Next man up mentality, though. It does shrink their margin for error just a bit. Yeah, they're missing a quality player. And we all know injuries are a part of the game. But they've got to make the adjustment. All right, check it out. Golden State's opening lineup. Inside, it's green next to Jackson Davis. Gary Payton the second is out there with Stephen Curry. And it's Wiggins in at the three, the small forward. And for Cleveland, at the four and the five, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. Garland and Mitchell, the talented one and two. And it's Okoro in at the small forward. Well, Grant, tonight we've got two teams who aren't afraid to slow the pace of the game. Well, B.A., it's because they're both adept at operating their half-court sets. They don't feel the need to push the tempo all the time. Now here's Peyton. Pass to Wiggins. Now Jackson Davis. Allen defending. Here's Green. Six on the shot clock. From downtown. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They're fresh off the win against the Pelicans. And as a rule of thumb, the road can really test your team's depth. But they all stepped up and collectively produced a lot of points. Yeah, and watching that, all kinds of contributions and just little things that guys were doing to chip in for that win. The kick out to Wiggins. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Well, if Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Pass to Allen. Back to Mitchell. To the paint. Banked it in off the glass. Yeah. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like... Where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now, here's Green. 15 in his last outing. Two open that time. They didn't look easy. I mean, he's like a magician how quickly he gets that shot off. Was it ever there? Curry against Garland. Allen outside. Outside for Mitchell. Mobley down low. Green covering. Mobley, no good. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Jackson Davis misses. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. One thing this Golden State team does very well is control the offensive glass for it. Well, there's been a lot of talk analytically, B.A., about how advantageous it is to come in and swoop through to grab offensive rebounds. Golden State has bought into that philosophy. They also have guys who take a lot of long shots, so that's long rebounds with a better chance of gaining an extra possession. So some smart analytical play here from Golden State in the past couple of seasons. For Cleveland, they've gone one for three so far. Outside Mitchell. Okoro with the ball. Peyton covering. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Gets the three ball to go. A volume shooter at the arc. Mitchell will rarely hesitate to take that. And Allie LaFour spoke with Kitty Atkinson. Allie? And we spoke about how he plans to deal with the three-point king, Stephen Curry. He said the biggest challenge, honestly, is not the shooting, it's the playmaking. Steph is an incredible passer, so you can't double-team him. He'll find the open man. As always, it's not easy facing Steph. Brian? Okay, thanks, Allie. With a break here, let's see which team racked up the assists during last year's campaign. The fourth spot held by the Warriors... You take a quick look at their assist totals from last season, and it's really impressive. A direct product of the disciplined, unselfish culture that this franchise represents. Wiggins, no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. There's the block. Pass to Payton. 
Driving in. DP2 being a second generation star that, that comes with some challenges, but he's definitely his own man out there on the floor. This is his first trip to the free throw line tonight. So he comes up empty at the line. The Cavs trailing. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. Oh, guys. This crowd is in awe of that Mitchell dunk. Heck, I'm in awe, too. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Golden State has gone two for four from range to start things off. Outside, green. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Back to Curry. Peyton with a screen on Garland. To the inside. Mobley with the block. Do not test Evan Mobley. A top-level shot blocker. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. And here's Curry for three. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. The Cavaliers have gone three of six from the floor. Pass to Mobley. On the wing, Mitchell. And it's Cleveland with another. Evan Mobley with the assist. So it's the Warriors now. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. Jackson Davis with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Wiggins outside. Just five on the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Green. It's not going to go for him. But Coral, the defensive effort. And let's talk about Draymond Green for a moment. Certainly one of the most outspoken players in the league, Brent. Well, Draymond has never held back. Whether he's talking about his opinion or the way that he sees the game, which is remarkable and a revelation to his intelligence as a defender on the floor. Draymond Green has been special on the defensive end throughout his career. Now here's Curry. He played a great game against Boston. Back to Jackson Davis. He's now one for two with that bucket. Now that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Garland against Curry. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Well, Garland taking the bump that time and pretty good focus on that play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Struess, he's checked in for Okoro. The Warriors also with a sub. Heald's checked in. That's good from Garland. Year after year, this early portion of the season is characterized by a great deal of overreaction. The media and fans build up a lot of expectations in the offseason. And it's not that bad, but when those expectations aren't met, watch out. <laughs> Listen, we all just need to settle down and see how things play out. The season is still very young. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Hey, Cleveland on D. Pass to Peyton. Now here's Curry. Count it. His third and five attempts. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Garland feeling it out a bit. Allen in the high post. Back to Garland. Clock at six. And it's Allen who slams it home. And Jared Allen, one of the best rim runners we have in the league. What a dunk. The Warriors have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Heel to the ball. 
And he also played a big role in their last game with Boston. Hits a three-pointer. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. From deep, Mitchell. Called in by Curry. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Wiggins with a screen on Garland. Over Garland. Again, the Steph Warriors Curry. score. This is just not a surprise. Steph Curry is having a massive offensive game. Garland for three. Warriors with the rebound. Coming into this, having Knox to win against Boston in their last game. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Yeah, never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. A different look for Cleveland. Niang, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Lavert comes in for Mitchell. And Jerome subbed in for Darius Garland. Now here's Lavert. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. Two minutes remaining. It's Lavert on the wing. To stop the run. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. That's a big make for Lavert. Should help his confidence. Outside Pajemski. Outside Kaminga. Inside, Heald passes to Green. Outside Pajemski. Let's go with a three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got four rebounds in the game. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, Coach Steve Kerr said of Jonathan Kaminga, we were trying really for a long time to get him to attack, get the ball in the paint, and dunk it because he's unstoppable there. You just don't know when something's going to click, but it has clicked, and it's beautiful to see. He has certainly found his lane, Allie. Thank you. Here's Heel. After the basket by Cleveland. Count the basket, buddy. Heel. And the Warriors lead by three. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Pass to Struess. Let's it go from deep. And Cleveland, another three. Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. If they play this right, they can go two for one. Yeah, they really have to work the clock right now. Now, here's Green. No points yet. Pajemski. Blocked! Heald against Levert. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first. Jerome, that's good. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And here's Kaminga. Here's the three. That shot off the mark. A nice first quarter play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Cleveland on top. They're up by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And what stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. The Cavaliers leading. Jared Allen out there with Dean Wade. Then it's Max Struess. Then there's Sam Merrill, and it's Levert in at the two. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Here's Heal. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. With focus there, you go off the dribble, you got to have good balance, and Buddy Heal in a great rhythm right there. Levert outside. Pass to Struess. Gets the three to fall. Drew 
Bruce has got six. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. And Brent, you've always seen the flashes, but now it seems the game has slowed down for Kaminga. Well, B.A., a lot of fans clamoring for Kaminga to get minutes even earlier on, but the Warriors took a very slow approach to his development, and now you're starting to see some of that athleticism and strength and some of that patience paying off for Jonathan Kaminga. Cleveland leading by three. Merrill outside. Nifty move. And he sinks the layup. Sam. Merrill's got his first two points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Looney. Left side green to the middle. Oh, Looney with the smooth move inside. Kevon Looney on the inside doing a little bit of damage now. Merrill passes to Levert. Going inside. And there is the whistle. That'll go on Kevon Looney. That's his first foul. Poro is checked in for Merrill. Now into the lineup for your Cavaliers. Number 35, Isaac Okoro. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Levert outside. Just four to shoot. Here's Struess. Looney grabs a miss. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. And it's blocked. Outside Struess. Nails it from beyond the arc. Struess has got six here in the quarter. And that's his second in this quarter, guys. He's made three so far this game and is showing no signs of slowing down. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Garland's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Melton, he's checked in for Draymond Green. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Kaminga finds Looney. Here's Melton. Outside heel. Fires from deep. He buries it from three. Heald's got seven. And these quick hitting plays are great for a quick set shooter. Heald scoring. Melton against Garland. Played it in with a nice touch on the window. Garland's got his second bucket of the night. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Pass to Pajimski. Now here's Kaminga. Outside Pajemski. From outside, off the mark. The Cavaliers lead by five. Allen inside. Looney's there. Here's Wade. Outside Garland. Kaminga pulls it in. And so Kaminga will bring it up for the Warriors. Pass to Melton. Now Looney. Now Kaminga. Shot clock at six. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. Allen outside. Defense has got to bring a little bit more. Hitting Allen like that is not going to prevent him from scoring. Warriors trail by seven. Now Melton. Yet to see a basket. Pass to Kaminga. It's rebounded by Wade. The Cavaliers have got five of seven shots to fall in the second. Outside Garland. 4-3. It 
it doesn't go for him. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Brent, something we've all noticed lately is the small ball era starting to wind down. Well, B.A., I think in people's minds when you say small ball, they're thinking about six foot, six foot one guys on the court. That's not what we're talking about. It's a skilled game, and I don't think the small ball skilled game is going anywhere anytime soon. Back to Mitchell. Overheel. Mitchell misses. Warriors trail by four. Wiggins passes to Curry. Releases and give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. What else can he say about Steph Curry? Simply one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. Mitchell finds Garland. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. Bucket is good and he'll go to the line. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Draymond Green, he's checked in for heel. Cleveland shooting their fourth attempt at the line tonight. That's good from Garland. And Garland does a little bit of everything. A versatile guard with a bright, bright future. Outside, Green. Wiggins from long range. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Oh, Curry showing off the range. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. Here's Garland. It's deflected. Wiggins outside, takes a 13-footer. It's rebounded by Wade. Cleveland has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Here's Mitchell. The three from Okoro. It's rebounded by Golden State. Curry's got four rebounds now. Outside Payton. Back to Curry. Pass to Jackson Davis. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Can't tie it up. That one misses. Cleveland has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Garland against Curry. Here's Wade. Pass to Mitchell. Puts up a three. Yes, sir! Mitchell from long range! Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Peyton with it. Wiggins outside. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Wiggins got six points. What a response here from Wiggins marching right back and answering with a triple. Peyton against Mitchell. Here's the floater. Can't hit that one. Good D by Peyton. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Here's Wiggins. Oh, Wiggins punishing him inside. Clean handles from Wiggins. Puts his man on skates. Now here's Garland. 13 points in the win against New Orleans. And guys, what impressed me most was his passing. He constantly looked for the open man and found guys in great spots. Now here's Peyton. There's Jackson Davis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Mitchell. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. A different look for Cleveland. Allen, he's checked in for Thompson. Evan Mobley comes in for Wade. And Jerome subbed in for Garland. Cleveland has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Pass to Mitchell. Shot to stop the run. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Gary Payton, the second. 
And he's not shying away from the drive at all. Mitchell isn't afraid of the tough defense, and that tenacity gets him to the line. Both free throws good for Mitchell. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Curry surveys. Off target from outside. And that'll do it for the first half. This game is tied. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. The Warriors, 44. Fans, please direct your attention to center court. And get ready for the fan half-court shot. Drums, please. Thinking about the shot. Oh, so close. So close. One more time, a round of applause for the participants. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Tonight's featured game sees the Cleveland Cavaliers in a tight one. They better be grateful for their bench. The reserves are showing up in a big way. The others you always talk about, big fella. Taking some pressure off the starters here. And now, not a bad time to take a look at the schedule ahead. And taking a look at the Cavaliers. Right now, a lot of teams are still figuring things out. Shuffling rotations, and players are trying to get their timing back. Yeah, plenty of adjustments in the early stages. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. So Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. And so in the game for the Warriors, Wiggins and Green hold down the forward spots. Stephen Curry is out there with Gary Payton the second, and it's Jackson Davis in at the five down low. Now here's Wiggins. Pass to Jackson Davis. Now here's Curry, guarded by Garland. Six to shoot. Curry against Garland. There he is, the three-point king delivers on cue. This is why Steph Curry is virtually unguardable. When he's sinking those kind of shots, it just devastates you defensively. Here's Garland. Drops in the layup for two. Garland's got ten. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Back to Curry, fires the three. Another three for Golden State. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Matching the triple from the other end, Garland is game. Curry passes to Green. Now Payton. Outside Curry. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got four rebounds now. Stephen Curry is still playing, but the debates have already started about where he ranks among the all-time greats. Well, B.A., it's a matter of opinion, but if your opinion is that he shouldn't be up there, shame on you. At 6'2", this guy is pound for pound. Maybe the best player that's ever suited up in this league. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, the Warriors play a unique style predicated on passing and cutting off the ball. 
Stephen Curry said the main goal is to just force the defense to make as many decisions as you can. So with all that ball movement and body movement, they're going to mess up at some point. Brian? Well, it helps having a weapon like Stephen Curry. Thanks, Allie. It's good. Give him eight points now. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Outside Garland. Carries it down low. Garland's got nine points here in the second half. Now, Garland started the game at 6-1, but the way he's playing now, he's got to be feeling seven feet tall. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. Oh, Brent, it's been a blessing to watch Stephen Curry in real time. But he's the kind of player his highlights will stand the test of time for years. The best shooter that's ever played the game. Yes, it's been a real treat, D.A., to watch all of that. But credit to Steph. The only part of his career shaky with the injuries. The confidence never wavered. And then all of a sudden, behind these magical hands, the game had changed. And here are the Warriors now, following the score by Cleveland. Back to Curry. Fires the three. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. 10 of 14 from the field. Well, he should be playing this game with an apron on because he's cooking right now. Outside Garland. And he drains it, making him 7 for 15 for the day. They're on fire right now, shooting 80% to start the second half. Outside, Green. Payton with it, guarded now by Mitchell. Here's Wiggins. Back to Payton. Green against Mobley. Down low. What a tough finish. That's tremendous balance. Green. Steph's ability to keep his composure in that tough situation, work in a tight space. That's impressive. Here's Garland. And it's rejected. And they get it back. Mobley passes to Garland. And it's good. The time running down. The shot clock. Garland's got 13 in the second half. The Warriors have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Curry against Garland. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Jackson Davis with it. Over Garland. Off the left rim and out. And Mobley has got the ball here for Cleveland. The 11-footer. Allen finds Mobley. Back to Allen. Basket's good. Allen's got eight. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. The Warriors trailing. Curry with it. That's 29 for him. There's the three. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. To the wing, right side. Mobley against Curry. Mobley, no good. Golden State has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Wiggins for three. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. On the wing, Mitchell, guarded by Payton. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Count it, and one! He'll have a chance in the three-point play. That's on Gary Payton, second foul. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. The fearlessness they've shown going strong inside has been impressive. The defense hasn't been very effective against them. And they've also done a great job of just taking what the defense is giving them. Teams willing to give up a mid-range, take them, knock them down, they've done it. You know, I've got two words to describe Donovan Mitchell. Dynamic score. 
You put this man in just about any situation, and he'll find a shot no matter what. Now here's Potemski. No made baskets yet. Allen with it. Now Wiggins defending to the inside. Garland. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. Outside Pajemski. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Jackson Davis. Allen defending. And here's Pajemski. Outside Kaminga. Heel to the ball. Guarded by Garland. And it's Heel. That time on the assist by Kuminga. Heel's got 13 now. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Struce's shot is off. Warriors trail by four. And there's the lob. Oh, Kuminga! Hop for days! What a setup for Kaminga. All he has to do is rise up timeout, and throw timeout. it down. And we've got a timeout called by Kenny Atkinson. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. Subbed in for Darius Garland. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. And here's Mitchell. He's got 15. And here's Struce outside. On target from range. He's got 12. And they just continue to sharpen their offense here in the second half. Pass to Looney. And here's Wiggins. Covered by Mobley. Healed for three. And the Warriors with another three. three points. That's a guy you want to find, Buddy Healed, with the response from three. Out to Thompson. Back to Mitchell. 127 left in the third. Over Healed. And the shot no good. A bit short. The Warriors have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Jerome. Three-pointer. It's another three for Cleveland. And a nice find by Mobley. Keeping his eyes up and his options open. Warriors trail by five. Outside Pajemski. And Max Struess picks up the foul. It's his first foul of the game. And the Warriors making a switch here. So Melton's checked in. Warriors. Number eight, D'Anthony Melton. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Back to heel. From deep. And he sinks it again. Seven of seven from the field now. Still the strongest part of Buddy Heald's game. He is a lethal shooter. What a perfect stroke that was. Pass to Mobley. Outside Mitchell. The three ball. And it's Mitchell coming right back with a three. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Looney finds Melton. Now healed, covered by Struess. Clock at six. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Mitchell, the pass to Jerome. Back to Mitchell. Oh, and he hits it! And the buzzer! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with the wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed. What a performance for Darius Garland. He has been the story for the Cavaliers. Continued to rack up points in that quarter. His total for the night to 23. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Well, coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Garland and Levert team up in the backcourt. George Niang out there with Okoro. And it's Wade in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Here's Levert. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. His first. So tough to negate Levert's wingspan when he's in attack mode. It's one of his deadliest characteristics. Free throw good, Levert. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Both free throws good for Levert. Warriors trail by five. Pass to Looney. Here's Melton. Outside Kaminga. Six on the shot clock. From deep, Melton. Counted from distance. Melton's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Outside Garland. Niang a screen. The three. That one's good. Garland for three. Garland's got 26. Well, Garland, a volume shooter right now from deep. He's capable of getting hot. Melton against Garland. Right side, Pajemski. Outside heel. There's the triple. It's tipped. Okoro just using physical tools, one of them, to block that shot. That one misses. And the second free throw is good. And he nails the third. And Heald is a player who you love to see take trips to the free throw line as consistent as he is there. Garland against Melton. Niang outside. Missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. Warriors trail by three. Pass to Kaminga. Okoro, the defensive effort. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting about 56% in this one. Levert attacking. Pajimski grabs the board. Golden State is gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Now Melton. To the middle. Left side, Kaminga. Over a Koro. Second chance effort. Oh, Kaminga, strong like bull. Yeah, Kaminga is a guy who does not back down. In fact, he tries to go through you. Melton against Garland. Takes the three, and the three-pointer goes. Garland's got 29 points. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. Pass to Looney. Back to Melton. Outside Kaminga. Inside. And it's Heal that time on the assist by Kuminga. Heal's got four points now in the quarter. Well, right now, the defense is going to need to step up their attention on Buddy Heal. He's on fire. And it's Garland on the drive. An easy two on the layup. Garland's got 31. He's been an absolute marksman the entire second half. Hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. Garland against Melton. Outside heel. Throws it up high. And Kuminga throws it down. And credit Buddy on that play. The correct read setting up his teammate. 
Now Garland. Okoro outside. Back to Garland. And that was good. 33 points for him. And they really relied on him down the stretch. Warriors trail by four. Healed on the wing. Guarded by Okoro. Melton outside. Back to Kaminga. Elbow shot. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with, and look how engaged he is on both ends. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He's decided it's time to clarify the situation, leaving little room for error. And the Cavaliers going with a whole new group out there. And a new group getting ready for the Warriors. Jackson Davis has checked in for Looney. Green comes in for Kaminga. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Pajemski. And it's Curry in for Melton. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, over the break, I did listen in on Kenny Atkinson's huddle. Coach was blunt with his assessment. He said to throw out everything that happened until now. It is a brand new game, and it's only a few minutes. Leave it out on the floor. Back to you guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's Curry. Heel finds Curry. Jackson Davis with it. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Allen. Here's Jerome. Pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Gets stolen by Heel. Takes a three. Curry, no good. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Here's Jerome. Outside Mitchell. And the three off target. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And Max Struess picks up the foul. Max That's foul number two for him. Dayton's checked in for the Warriors. Warrior substitution, number zero. Gary Payton, the second. Here's Curry. And the Warriors miss again. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that. It cost you another play. Here's Jerome. Pass to Mitchell. Allen a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Grown man point from Donovan Mitchell. He have no answer defensively inside. Curry with it. Launches it from deep. Mitchell grabs a miss. Pass to Jerome. Here's Mobley. Outside Mitchell. Mobley on a screen. From the high post. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Yeah, Mitchell can get this mid-range look lined up. He's a very skilled shooter. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. He was quite emphatic, demanding the timeout. Clearly wanting to address strategy with his team. Checked in for Struess. And Darius Garland subbed in for Jerome. Two minutes remaining in the game. To get back on track. And he nails that one right through the heart. Curry's got 31 points. That's a high percentage shot from Steph Curry. Just put that on repeat. And at 53 left in the fourth quarter here. And here's Mitchell. Mobley is screen on Peyton. Mitchell with the ball. Now Wiggins defending. The three from Okoro. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got five rebounds in the game. Wiggins outside. Green the pass to Curry. There's a minute 26 left in the fourth. To the paint. Here's Jackson Davis. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. He gets the first, and that brings him within five. And so he hits both. A perfect trip to the line narrows the gap. Cleveland has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Now Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Peyton. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. And how about the fast shot by Mobley? Didn't need much time to get it in the air. And it's in. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And none better. Steph stepping up. What a great feel for the moment. Steph Curry. Bingo. Now here's Mitchell. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And Garland gets double. On the wing, Mitchell launches it. And the Cavaliers, another three. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time to win. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Now here's a coral. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. I love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. throw good from Allen. Taking care of business at the line. Leaving this one out of reach. And they have to know that any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game. They're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? Anderson can't get it to go. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, Donovan, it took a half for you guys to really find your rhythm. But once you did, you took control. Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing for us, um, we just got to compete. And I think that's what we did at the end of the day. We found a way to fight back. Uh, they got a lot of talented guys on that team. You know, they got a lot of guys who can go out and get buckets and, um, and rebound. But we just overcame it, played defense, and got stops when we needed. Thanks, Donovan. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. And now, time for our player of the game, Darius Garland.